thing that's interesting is, uh, I don't know what to say about this. After missing most of the last week of events due to unforeseen circumstances, which actually is not exactly what I would say, Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks have reportedly been cleared for action. News was first reported by PW Insider. They are they are scheduled to be on the show on Friday and at SummerSlam. Now, uh, timeline wise, they both missed uh, the weekend shows. Not a week. They were on SmackDown on Friday in the ring live with each other. They both began to miss shows due to unforeseen circumstances. Listen, WWE does not announce who has COVID and who has who does not have COVID, except in extor- extraordinarily rare circumstances. So I guess it's possible that they did not have COVID. Now, if they did have COVID, this is a very interesting timeline here. However, uh, I suppose it is possible. I'm going to tell you why. So there's a lot of news out. And granted, I'm not a doctor. All right. So don't like uh, anyway, but a lot of news out about breakthrough infections and how you can you can get covid if you're vaccinated and if you're not vaccinated. And of course, everyone reads the headlines and they don't read the rest of the articles and they freak out and blah, blah, blah. Yes, if you're vaccinated, you can get covid. But if you're vaccinated and you get covid, number one, uh, you're you're far less likely to get a severe case of covid. And number two, you actually get through your COVID infection faster than a person who is not vaccinated. So it is possible that both Sasha Banks and Bianca were vaccinated. They tested positive for COVID on a breakthrough. And they have already legitimately passed a test and are now cleared to return. This is possible. So I'm not saying there's a conspiracy or anything like that. I don't actually know what happened. I don't even know they had COVID. But it is interesting that they were in the ring together and they missed some events. And there may have been other people that were close to the situation that were getting tested over the last couple of days. So you can make of all of this what you will. But it is possible that, in fact, they did contract COVID and they are already cleared and they will be fine for SmackDown and they will be fine for the uh, SummerSlam pay-per-view, which is a pretty good uh, reason to get vaccinated. But I'm not here to tell you when to get vaccinated or not. I'm just telling you what happened. We have one more. Oh, we do? Yeah. This is from uh, TL. There's nothing scary about you, chap. No matter how dangerous of a technician. You look more like a male anesthetician, cocking your chest out with that definition. No, I don't mean Zack Sabre, supporter of labor. He's one of the best. I'm talking about that man with no heart, Brian Alvarez, the real chicken chest. I'm disgusted. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.